Today, we're gonna make some French bread uh, with the help of our bread maker. I'm only using that for the dough portion of it so I don't have to knead it by hand. And I let this thing just kind of fill up and warm up with the hot, hot water. And get it all nice and warm. The whole thing kind of, you know. Once that's good and warm, tablespoons of regular sugar, and I usually use my hand and make sure it's all good and dissolved in there. hand out of the way so you can see I mean, but you see the sugar is going to dissolve in the hot water pretty quickly and then once it's comfortable enough for your hand to stay in there pretty pretty comfortably it usually comes to about 110 degrees when I'm like that that's what the official temperature is you can see I'm just a little over 100 degrees so I'm pretty close about the time it's comfortable you for your hand package of yeast is about two and a quarter teaspoons. So if I use a three quarter teaspoon times three, it should be good. Okay, take a look. We're going to let it sit for 10 minutes. You don't have to stir it or anything? Nope, it'll, it'll soak up and it'll start kicking. Amazing how fast they come back to life. You can see it rose up some. You're foamy. How much? Three, <coughs> Three cups. <coughs> I actually have a little one. <laughs> One. Might be close. Bo. Three of those. Oil. Quarter cup of veggie oil. Quarter cup. Quarter cup. And I, you can use any kind of oil. Olive oil, peanut oil, canola oil, butter. And one teaspoon of the salty stuff. Mm, flavor rocks. Flavor minerals. Mm. We've had this bread machine for a, <laughs> a long time. Like how long? Years and years and years. Ten, at least probably ten plus years. We had it at the old house. Yeah. We're looking for just dough. We're going to go into number 10. See, it says there's number, number 10, dough. Number 10, that's just if you're doing the dough. Just if you're doing the dough. So, uh, there we go. You see, it takes about how long? Hour and a half for it to do what it's going to do. Because it, it like mixes and then it sets. And then it well, it mixes it and kneads it and then it sets it, you know, and lets it rise the first time around. And then when it beeps, I got to take it out of here, separate it into two loaves, put it onto this uh, French loaf pan that we haven't used in years. And, uh, you know, but yeah, doing this by hand is a nightmare. It'll give your grandma a workout. 
You can hear it's making a different noise now. It's been about an hour and a half. That's what the dough looks like all risen up. You ready for the punch? Punch. Oh, this one really does good. Punches down. Down she goes. Clean the counter. It works well. Flowering it up a bit. Thirteen, fourteen ounces each. We're making French bread, so we're making them um, cylinder. <laughs> like Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. And then you get a nice seamless stretch on the top by kind of just folding all the edges over and tucking them under. Been a while since I've made any of this. Like baguettes? Mm, well, I actually have a baguette pan. They're uh, they're tighter than this. Okay. We do the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the cat wants outside. She just came in. She's an inside cat, but. We let her out. She's been escaping. But she wants out. She is fixed, but she still likes to murder all the... And she does have her claws. They didn't need claw or anything. That's not why we're so not she's, letting her out. We so just... she's good at murdering things out there. Since we've been letting her outside, we find a lot of lizards out there with... Uh, Missing tails. Mm. All right, towel. Cover it with a towel. I use paper towel. For how long? Remember what it looks like. This is gonna be different when we come back. Just cover it, wait an hour, and we'll see it rise again. Mm -hmm. It's time to get ready for the oven. What are we setting at? 375? It's the... Yeah. Oh. Is it 375? I think so. My... Wow, you remember? They did pop up. Look at that. They're fatter than baguettes. Yeah, these are fatter than baguettes. They look good. How long do we bake them? Uh, so this is just a regular bread recipe, a white bread re recipe that we've made into French bread loaves. Yeah. It's good. The thing about French loaves is when you bake it, you have a big pan of water that's steaming underneath it. We so have some water heating up. And we're going to heat this up around. So we we'll put it in a pan underneath the, the baking tray. Yeah, I'll uh, put it in a regular sheet pan. And I put water in the sheet pan, but we're going to go ahead and put the sheet pan in the oven so it'll get hot. It's up to temp. Add some water. Ooh, Set back, wear your gloves. That's how we do it, anyhow. I took the whole kettle. So, we're gonna put it in for how long at first? All right, see ya. All right, 
slightly brown. You think we need to go another five minutes? Yeah, but it will get harder. I think it's ready. I think it's ready too. Oh yeah, that's, that's golden. Oh. It says it's supposed to make a thud. Yep. <laughs> it sounds like you could hit someone over the head with it. All right, it's set for a little bit. It kind of actually softened up a little. I'll cut some, see how it looks. I like the end. Use a bread knife so you don't squish your bread and you're cutting it. Looks like it has good texture, huh? It is very fresh and nice and soft. Mm. What I do, I love this kind of stuff done as toast or grilled as well. It's good. You guys enjoy. Thank you.